Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and today we are looking at uh, the Clash Mr. Zero and the teams that I have for you guys to take on. Um, basically, just to beat Croc. Now, this Clash was not overly hard. Um, to be honest, it was fairly easy. To be real, Bruh, Let me get out of here. It was fairly easy. Um, there was. Multiple, multiple, multiple teams that could definitely get this done. Um, but I have a couple for you guys in today's video. Uh, all involving mono strength, actually. So uh, the way this clash sort of works is you just sort of need to get around the threshold and special bind on stage four. And then uh, on the croc stage, you have two turns of despair you have to deal with with sockets and getting around a red hit barrier which is fairly easy with them on a red team. So the new V2 Snakeman looks very, very good here. V1 Akainu actually works really, really well on most teams here as well. Um, and there's a bunch of characters that can remove Special Bind and Despair. There's a lot of sports that remove Despair. And a lot of characters that can give you a uh, full board orb. So in saying that, guys, let's hop in. Let's check out the teams. Okay, right, so the first team we have is a double bullet teeth now um something to note on this clash is like they don't give you much stall so we are just gonna take an extra turn here just to get our bullet special now the bullet special isn't overly essential um but it's gonna it's gonna help so we're gonna get a full bottle block up but with limited rare recruit lucy we can actually remove the special one and get a full board orbs that way um, we can use our uh, Ace as well. So if you don't have limited rare recruit Lucy, you can use anyone to use the special one, and then you can use this free to play Ace to um, remove the threshold and give you a full board of orbs. Now we have Bullet here uh, and Snake Man for an orb boost as well as the end of turn damage. Plus we have the Lucy attack boost, and with that we're just gonna have no issues with killing um, Mr. One. We need to make sure that we hit our uh, three perfects for Snake Man. Snake Man's pretty key in this class, actually. Like the carryover of the orb buff is really, really handy. Plus, um, using the oh, uh, do I have it on this team? Oh gosh, please tell me I do. Using stuff like um, Rayleigh to remove the despair is really, really handy on the Luffy unit. Did I? Oh no. On this particular team, actually, I have Whitebeard on our Ace unit to remove the despair. We get the carryover of the orbs so we can use our Akainu special to give us the attack boost for our red units. And then we can use our bullet special to basically um, give us, well, give us the end of turn damage. But with that, we can just destroy Crocodile. As you guys can see, easy claps, doesn't have much issue. So let's move into the second team. Okay, right, so the next team I have is a V3 Akainu team. Now, on this team here, we are using uh, Montedor to remove the uh, Special Bind. Unfortunately, though, Montedor doesn't actually have uh, the crewmate ability to remove five turns of Special Bind. He only has three turns. So, not the end of the world, though, because um, we are going to use that to remove the block orbs that get inflicted by Mr. One on the second turn. Um... And then after that, we can use Montedor to remove the special bind. And then we can use the new Chopper to remove the threshold. Now, Chopper is going to give us a uh, heal as well, which is nice. And he also gives us a tap timing buff that we're going to carry over into the next stage. We can then use our friend Akainu special there to give us that huge attack boost. And oh my gosh, Thumped hit your perfects. Okay, sweet. Kind of is such an, a massive attack buff that uh, it's it's fairly nice to get through. Plus, we had the color affinity from Montedor as well. So onto Croc, he has the orb uh, barrier, uh, and he gives us a despair. We have Corazon to remove the despair here, but as you guys know, like this law can remove uh, binds. So if you have that law, um, if you don't have Corazon, you can use the law there. But you can use Law earlier in the fight just to get some cooldowns um, because like I mentioned in the last team, getting the um, the stalling on this team is actually fairly tricky. Why do you not change orbs? 
Okay, well, I was in the impression this ace actually changed orbs, but turns out he doesn't. So, lucky for us and our scuffedness, we actually can use the or uh, law special to change the orbs around for us. Then we can use our two red orbs to remove the barrier. And with that, we can finish off Croc. So, a bit of a scuffed run. Um, yeah, I did not read that law. Oh, I know what I've done. I've wrong I've used the Clash Ace, not the uh, the rare recruit one that came out with Wipeid. The one that comes out with Wipeid is the one that changes Bomb Orbs. Uh, well, lucky we kept Law Special there, guys. So, uh, as you guys can tell, that team does it fairly well. But just bring someone else who rotates Bomb Orbs because you need those strength slots. Alright guys, so on to the next team I have for you. It's a double V2 Snake Man team now. V2 Snake Man's a beast. Like a freaking beast. So to remove the special bind on this team, uh, we have the uh, Ace unit. The uh, one that came out with uh, the Anniversary. Uh, he sets your uh, HP to 1 and he removes a bunch of debuffs, but... Again, just like Montador, unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, five turns of special one removal. So we do need to stall out those two turns. And then we can use uh, his special. Once we've used his special, we can actually use... Um... Oh, we don't need to. Yeah. Well, I was going to say we could use Montador to remove the threshold, but I mean... We don't need it, so that's kind of cool. We also got our V3 Akino on this team. He is replaceable with any other attack booster, um, but he's um, he's really good for this piece of content, mainly because uh, he has Barrier Pen, which is really, really handy, but not essential, but very handy. So with the super type from V2 Luffy, we can just smash this stage. We get the attack buff from the super type, and then we get the orb buff from his special. So, does a lot of damage. No issues whatsoever getting through Mr. One. And then on to Croc, we get uh, Gloomed for two turns, as you guys know. But we have Rayleigh to remove that on our Luffy. And then we uh, basically can just use our specials here. So, we're going to use our Akainu special. Akainu is going to give us a 2.25 attack boost. Luffy's going to change our orbs, and then Jinbei is actually going to give us a two times color affinity. Um, and with that, like, Mr. One just doesn't even stand a chance. Look, look how much damage that does, bro. Like, it's just, super type is just something else, man. So if you have V2, Luffy, uh, V2 Snake Man, I'd bring him along, and I'd probably use, like, someone like uh, Limited Rare Recruit Lucy to remove the special bind if you want to do it as fast as possible. Um, and that's probably how I'm going to farm this. The next team I have for you guys is a free spirit based team. Utilizing some characters that came out. Um, well, not a little while ago, but um, some characters that are fairly sort of fresh, I guess is the best way to put it. So, um, on the Mr. One stage, we are going to switch into our Sabo unit, and we're going to use the new Boa special. Now, Boa's going to lock our orbs, and she's going to uh, remove our special bind. Then we can use our Usahachi to give us a turn of cooldown, and remove the threshold. Because we removed the cooldown, we can actually use our Sabo special to give us a attack buff. Which is very handy. And with that, we should be able to kill Mr. One. Oh, I forgot about Barry Pen. Or maybe not. Ooh. We got very close to killing Mr. One. <laughs> maybe if I didn't stuff up my attack, my tap timing, we might have done a little bit better there. Of course, you're going to knock a character away for three turns. Why would you not? Alright, we want our Luffy to be back, so if we can get him back, that'd be great. Probably shouldn't have done that. But it is what it is. Well, this has been very scuffed. 
Now, if you guys are better players than I am, and I imagine most of you are, <laughs> then this should not be this tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys can reach Snake Man over Luffy and... Oh, wait. No, you can't, because he's not even a... Um... He's not a free spirit or cerebral unit, is he? That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, if you've got the new Snake Man, you could bring him over the Luffy Tara and Zora Juro, but just bringing them along to show that you can actually probably run them as leader or the uh, Sabo Koala doesn't really matter. So we are going to have a uh, Despair that gets applied to us, but we have the Wipey support on Ace. Uh, we also have the um, Valentine's Nami on our... Uh, Zoros uh, and Luffy so there's a lot of ways around the despair is basically what I'm trying to say so we are going to use our Sabo Koala special here and the switch ability for color affinity and the attack boost we can use Luffy and Zoro uh, to give us a chain lock and an ore boost as you guys can see we don't need the Nami uh, but then we can use our treasure map a special to give us a full border orb so with that we should have a uh, barrier pen oh it doesn't matter we have heaps and heaps of damage as you guys can see i wasn't even in sabo koala there to take out mr zero pretty easy collapse and the final team is a hybrid v1 akainu and the new v2 snake man team um if you didn't pull snake man and you've got v1 akainu Honestly, like, you can still do a lot. Like, <laughs> like to be real, you can actually still do quite a lot. They actually hybrid ridiculously well. Like, stupidly well. Especially, and if you don't have the new V3, kind of. Uh, yeah, not really missing out, honestly. Because you still have this guy. You've got this guy, you're laughing. Obviously, Snake Man, and I'm not... I'm definitely, I'm definitely not saying that... that like, shouldn't pull for them and whatnot, because, like, this Snake Man is insane. Having two of him is just nuts. But, like, you can still make use of him. Like, look at that. Full of orbs. Like, what was that? Oh, disgusting. It's disgustingly good. But this team is using Rizo. Rizo is removing the special mind, and it's also using the free-to-play Jesus Burgess. Uh, that is going to remove the threshold and the special bind. Um, we got lucky with the, uh, um... With the orbs, but we can use the super type of Luffy here. And um look, we don't even need the special. Normally I just probably use the V2 Snake Man special here to just to give us a full board orbs, and then I would still use the um old Snake Man special. Um just so I could get the carry over the orb boost in the next turn. But like like super tight. Look, look, why are we getting like uh, do we get increased chance to land on strength orbs? Like what's the go? Oh, with a kind of we do. So like you just get like orbs galore. It's nuts. But we're using Rayleigh again on the um Snake Man unit. Uh then we've got Brook here for a color affinity. And Akainu is going to give us the full border orbs as well as an attack boost. And yeah, that's, that's so GG. It's disgusting. Don't even have to get perfect. Look, oh, gross. Oh, just gross. Ridiculously easy. Like Croc, just disgusting. Well, there you go, guys. Um, there are a couple of teams that could take out Mr. Zero. Not an overly hard clash. Just make a mono red team and it's GG. All right. Bring your friend Snake Man V2 and it's just catch her. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit that like button if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content that I post. Make sure to hit the big red subscribe button as well. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Ooh.